Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Buggy Stitcher on YouTube, Shlisam underscore Buggy Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from GBFKE, and I will leave all of their information in the description box down below, along with the product details in case you were interested. We have one giant cross stitch pattern, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Lots of crinkling. All right. So as you all know, if you've been watching me for a little bit, and if you haven't, then welcome <laughs> to the channel. I am a huge Disney fan. Um, my favorite Disney movies are Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Alice in Wonderland. And Alice in Wonderland is a new favorite of mine within the last few years, whereas Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty have kind of always been my favorites. So without further ado, let me introduce you to this one, which you can't see the pattern for. So <laughs> there's the pattern picture. Not very good. So let me go ahead and insert a picture of the pattern right here. Super pretty. I love Alice in Wonderland. I was tossing up um, this one or a stained glass version. The biggest thing for me when it comes to Alice in Wonderland is I wanted to make sure the pattern had the otter or no, the walrus, the walrus and the clams. That's one of my favorite parts of the whole movie, the poor baby clams. Um, but a lot of the Alice in Wonderlands only have like the Mad Hatter and the tea set, um, the tea party scene. But I much prefer some of the other scenes that are in that movie. So I wanted to make sure this one had that. And of course it does. So this one is a 40 by 90, which is absolutely huge. <laughs> So this is on poster paper, very shiny, which is what I prefer. And it is very big stamping on this, on the actual pattern itself. So that is good. I am not able to show you this whole pattern in the picture frame. So I'm just gonna have to, here's most of it. And then there's the rest of it. I think this is one of the longest, no. No, I take that back. I do have a couple of like 90s. My European room and there's one more that I have um, that is uh, 90 as well. So unfortunately, the last couple of kits that I have received, the actual pattern itself has been ruined by water. These patterns are water soluble um, and it looks like there is some smudging um, right here on the pattern right here and where was the other spot down here only where it was folded it looks like so right there is folded over he up here is folded down here to the bottom so of course the bottom has some smudging on the pattern itself right here not a huge deal as long as they don't have a problem with the printing of the stamped kit like on the canvas if i do i will need to reach out to the supplier or um gbfke and say hey like there's a problem i need the pdf of the pattern which most companies are are okay doing just sending me a pdf okay um this one does feel fairly soft for a stamped kit um this is gonna uh you know soften up super easy so i'm not worried about that i am a little concerned that this is like <laughs> like an off cut. I don't like it when that happens. I prefer my, my cuts to be fairly even, or at least if they're not on the bigger side of not even, um, but it is completely searched all the way around. So there is that. Um, over here it is also cut like poopy, <laughs> but again, completely searched all the way around. So that's fine. Um, here is the whole thing in which that I can show you. We're just slowly gonna move up because I don't have enough room. And then of course we can easily see the Alice in Wonderland writing, which is really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the stamping, make sure it's not been ruined by water. All right, the stamping looks amazing, super crisp, super clean. I can easily see all the colors. Yeah, nothing's really blend blending together, so that's nice. Um, let me show you an example of the stamping. So there is an example of the stamping. Looks super good, super clean. Let me show you the key, which I think is upside down to you. Yep, it is. <laughs> but there's the key, nice and clean, which is very helpful. 
Um, this one also comes with a page of instructions on poster paper and it comes with a toolkit. Um, this one has a pom pom gold, um, yeah, gold tip needles, a thimble, and a needle threader. And crinkling for the floss here. We have lots of extra colors because this one is so big. All right, so we have four of these guys, which is like a slate blue. And then we have these two extras right here. And two floss cards, both fairly full with floss. So here is our extra skein or extra floss card. And then here is our first one. So lots of bright colors, but the pattern calls for those bright colors. So super excited about that. And there we go. All right, that is it. Just the one really big cross stitch pattern. I don't know how I'm ever gonna finish all these, but I'll try and figure it out. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you GBFKE for sending this over to me. I appreciate you as well. I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.